You can make drawing layers invisible, either by turning them off or by freezing them. We've briefly mentioned them in the last few sections, but I want to take a better look at them so you can better understand when you want to thaw something or when you want to turn it off. Turning off or freezing layers is a very useful thing to do if you need an unobstructed view when working in detail on a particular layer or, or set of layers, or if you don't want to plot out details such as reference lines or other things like that. And whether you choose to freeze layers or turn them off depends on how you work and on the size of your drawing. Turning layers on and off. Well, if you do that, then an object that's turned off or that's on a turned off layer, they're invisible, but they will still hide objects when you use the hide option. When you turn layers on and off, the drawing is not regenerated. Now, freezing and thawing something, that's a little bit different. Objects on frozen layers are still invisible, just like when they're off, but they do not hide other objects. Most of the hiding thing has to do with 3D objects. You can have hidden lines, you can hide things behind them when you look at certain isometric views such as that. So in a 2D drawing, the hide part doesn't really come into a lot of play, and it doesn't, especially in AutoCAD LT. But in large drawings, freezing unneeded layers speeds up operations involving you know, displaying them and, and regenerating your drawing. Thawing one or more layers can cause the drawing to be regenerated. Freezing and thawing layers will also take more time than turning layers on and off. <laughs> what does that all really mean? Well, that bit of information that I just gave you just discusses how AutoCAD handles frozen or off layers. It used to be a real big deal back when we worked in AutoCAD in DOS, and your processor just took a long time to generate on your screen all of these lines that you had. You would turn things off or just freeze them instead because it just handled it differently. It didn't process them even though they weren't there. Well, that's not as much of a case now. Our big processors with our tons of RAM in them can handle these things. And ever since paper space was introduced way back in AutoCAD 11, we're on version, I think, 28 or 29 now with 2013, the freezing gave you more options in the viewports, and we'll talk about those. In a layout or in paper space, which is down on the tab down here, now, this is a viewport. And in this viewport, you can double click and that will activate it to a zoom extents and you can see your object right here if i zoom or pan you know move around i can see what's going on now in this viewport or any viewport i can freeze layers individually so that means i can freeze them so that i can't see them in this viewport at all but if i have another viewport they'll stay there let me show you If I copy this viewport, I didn't copy the line work. I only have one set of line work. This viewport is a window to what's in model space. When I make changes to my objects in model space, for example, like deleting this door, that's reflected in my viewports. See, there's no door here, there's no door there. I can double click in either one of these viewports and now. What I do to the line work, you know, if I delete it, move it, or et cetera, then it'll show up over here as well. So I can select this door. As you can see, it's been picked here. Delete. It's gone in both places. Now let's say I don't want to see the doors at all. I can go up to my freeze button, select the door, and now they're frozen in this viewport, but not in this one. <laughs> That's where freezing comes into play. Now if I go to model space and I freeze them here, let's say I freeze the walls. Can't see the walls, they're still there, I just can't see them. They're frozen everywhere. What you do in model space gets reflected back into paper space. So you have to be careful. So now I have to come back, go to one of my layers. I can go to the layer manager or I can go to this pull down right here, pick the button and it will thaw my layers. So that's something else you can do here besides picking the current one. I can lock them, I can unlock them, I can freeze them, I can turn them off. So now you'll see here when I go back to my Layout 1 tab, everything's back on. But if I click the Freeze button, pick the walls, my walls and doors are frozen. You can't see them here, but I can see them here. 
Now that's really cool. That gives you a lot of different options. So I can display my drawing differently by controlling them with layers. If I didn't use the layers to control the way they looked, I couldn't do this. So that's very important. So you saw when the wall layer was locked and how it hovered over there, I couldn't select it. Let's lock them back. It fades them back a little bit. But now I can't, I can pick them, you know, but I can't do anything with it. I can't move them. You know, I can pick them to begin with, but then I can't use a command on them. Then if I start a command, I can't pick them. So these walls are safe. I can't get rid of them. That's nice. Now, if you find that you don't like this fading back, which I personally don't like either, there are a couple things you can do with that. I can come up here. I can turn that feature off altogether. See, so now I still can't delete these objects, but that's okay. Or if I turn it back on, I can decrease the amount of fadedness, so to speak. Whatever floats your boat. I personally just prefer leaving it turned off. The locked layers, even though they're faded back, will still print normally. That won't affect it at all. That's just a visual representation or a visual cue to let you know that the layer is locked. You can also see it by hovering over the object and you get that little padlock of an icon that shows up in your crosshairs. That'll tell you too. One last thing. If I'm in a viewport, or just in paper space in general, if I want to turn off, not freeze, and I zoom in here, say, to this window, that will turn it off in that viewport too. They won't turn it off over here as well. So freezing and thawing in the viewport are done in the viewport. When I come to model space and I turn off, let's turn off everything here in model space. You can see it's turned off here as well. So what you're going to want to do while you're working is leave everything on, leave everything thawed in model space unless you're working in it. If you're working in it, you've got to isolate something, that's okay. Put it all back to the way it was before and then come to your viewport and you can freeze the things there that you need frozen for when you print your drawing.